Ever heard the saying, habits are the compound interest of self-improvement? That gem comes straight from James Clear, and it's a nugget of wisdom worth its weight in gold. But let's break it down a bit further. Enter the 1% rule. It's all about making tiny tweaks, just 1% better each day to cultivate sustainable growth instead of chasing after those elusive quick wins. Think of it as embracing the power of gradual change. Understanding that these small adjustments add up over time, leading to some serious progress in the long run. In this video, I'll teach you how to create a habit tracker in Notion so that you can be 1% better every day. First, let's create a database page. And aside, let's create a database full page. We're gonna give it a title and an icon. Now, we're gonna create a date property checkboxes for each habit that we want to implement and a formula for our progress. And now it's time to write the formula. Round is to keep our number with only two decimals. Dot to number is to convert the checkbox to a number and a plus is to keep adding habits. Once we're done adding all your habits, close the bracket. This bracket will close the habits. Divide it by the number of habits that you have and close the bracket. This bracket corresponds to the first open bracket when we wrote round. And in order to not have in decimals, let's multiply by 100 and close the second bracket of the round. And finally, divide everything by 100 and that's it. The next step is going to edit the property and change the number to percentage and show it as a bar. And now you know how to add, modify or delete habits as you wish. Now let's create a template so that we don't have to do anything but keep improving. Let's go to new, new template and on name we're gonna write add today. Be sure that date when duplicated is the one you selected. This is very important. Same with date, set it to date when duplicated. And of course you can add an icon. The next step is make a default template by clicking on the three dots and click on set as default. And for the last step, Let's create a repetition. Simply go once again to the three dots, repeat and set it for every day and save. Back to the main page, we are now gonna create a callout and we're gonna name it navigation. Now let's go to the three dots on the top right hand side and click on copy link, control L or command L if you're on Mac. Select navigation and where it says link, click on it and paste the link. Now drag the database into the callout and add some dividers by typing three dashes. In order to create a new column, just drag an empty block until a blue line like the one I have shows. Now let's create another callout and name it habits. Type forward slash and link view to database. Select the habit tracker database and now it's time to customize it a little bit. This next step is important. On filters, go to date and set it to date is today. Now let's duplicate the view and rename it to this week. And on filters, change it to date is relative to this week and sort it by date ascending. Now we're gonna create a habits page inside our navigation. But first we have to click on the six dots of the navigation and select copy link to block. Now, Create the page and name the habits. Set the page to full width, type forward slash two columns and on the left column paste the navigation callout and select paste and sync. Go back to the main page and do the same with the habits callout. But this time after pasting it, go to the six dots and select unsync. Now let's do the same that we did before and let's duplicate the view. Change the name, change the layout to table Set the group date by week and sort it by newest. On the filter, change to month and finally on the calculate select average. We're gonna do the same for this year, but on the filter, change it to year and the grouping to month. And finally, we're gonna duplicate one last time and create an old habit where we're gonna delete the filtering but change the grouping to year. Back to the main page, create a callout and name it buttons. 
to create a button, type forward slash and type button. Now name it as one of your habits and click on add action. Then select edit pages and select your habits database. Click on all pages and change it to where date is today. Click on edit property and select the habit that you named the bottom and set the property to checked. And now you just have to duplicate and do the same for all the habits that you have. Once you're done, we're gonna create a page named phone habits that you'll be able to add to your phone widgets so that you can log a habit easily. To do that, simply copy link to blog and paste and sync on the iPhone widgets page. If you want to see a clear representation on how are you going with your habits, I recommend you to add a graph. To do that, just go to tune2charge.com, which is totally free for your first graph, or click the link in the description. Sign in with Google, connect to Notion, and select the databases that you want Notion Charge to have access. In my case, I just want the habits tracker. And now it's time to create the charge. Go to create and select your database. This might take a few seconds, so don't worry. The X axis, select the date and on the Y axis, select your progress. Now you can customize it as you wish. The only recommendation is that you sort it by date. Once you've customized it, go to create embed, make sure that it's on live and copy. Then go to notion and paste it as embed. Now you just have to keep checking your habits and getting 1% better every day. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If that's the case, a like will be very appreciated. And if you like my content and don't wanna miss the next template, don't forget to subscribe. If you don't wanna build it, there's a link where you can download it for free in the description. If you choose to download it, a 5 star review will be very appreciated. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!